again and a one big grizzy uh, grizzy busy Grizzly. grid there we go mixing up two words there uh four mini x30 28 drivers in total which means it's one big group there on your screen is the number 15. Well, i said 15. it is 15 yes for mini x30 uh it's a rudman fusion motorsports there hard of a massey 44. again had a Fairly standard day yesterday, 17th overall for Hardy, the Canadian driver. Second in qualifying, uh, 25th in heat one, but responded back in the second heat, seventh place in the second heat as well there. And there was the treble three, it was, yes, on your screen, Eden Spanswick, fifth in qualifying, fifth in first heat, fourth uh, later on. There's Greenall there in the 19. Where did Greenall? Uh, Jack Cunningham, sorry, I should say, in the 19. Just got someone else's suit on, there we go. <laughs> uh, the Scottish driver, 13th in qualifying, 13th in the first race, 24th in the second. So he had a, a bit of a backwards day uh, there, did uh, Cunningham. The 76 there as well, Harrison Crowther. Uh, 11th in his first heat, 9th in the second. The number 8. Screen. Wesley Swain, sixth overall in the points, eighth in qualifying, sixth in this first heat, tenth in the second. There, the 87 on your screens. Thomas Behrman, tenth in qualifying, twelfth and fifteenth in the heats as the caravan pans through the rest of the order. There, the number 12 appearing on your screen. On my order. Charlie Morrison Jones. I you are knows. indeed correct. Yes, there it is on my screen. 12th place. Uh, 11th place overall. Uh, had a good showing. Uh, 8th in qu 18th in qualifying, but finished 9th uh, in the first heat. Went slightly backwards in heat 2, finished 16th, but is right there in the middle of the points. But because, of course, it's all one big group, uh, they all go through to the final. Last words of encouragement for the 51, Fred Green. 9th in qualifying. At 16th in the first heat, 14th in the second. Currently sitting 14th overall in the points with 30 points. Tied with Jack Hobson ahead and Jack Mowat as well behind both. All three with 30 points out there. So um, a very close group, Mini X30. They always provide us good racing. Uh, but of course, drivers that you need to keep an eye on as well. Corey Bishop, the 68 currently leading the way. Qualified first yesterday, won both heats as well. Taylor Orange. Yeah, I don't think that's doing that as well. Drivers head out, and already someone pulling off to the side of the track. Who is that who's not going to be taking part in qualifying? Or well, maybe they are taking part in qualifying. It's the 18. Yeah. And uh, Harley Parejo there. Difficulty with the car, but has got it going again and back out onto the circuit, albeit now in a bit of a no man's land on his own, no toe or anything like that. The wind again is fairly light, it's not a heavy breeze, and again, it's more kind of a crosswind now across the circuit, not a head or a tailwind. So they're going to have to watch out in the corners this time. Yeah, they won't have to worry about it too much as they're going past three wide through the second hairpin. In fact, it's actually blowing what light nice light clouds over our way and getting rid of some of the darker stuff so with any luck we will be uh, relatively safe although touch wood and all that sort of thing from the weather as uh, the 66 dives up the inside there that's orange and uh, trying to get that good track position again we've seen a lot of this haven't we in qualifying a lot of people trying to get their own bit of track down on the inside of others and of course i wouldn't say this is the sort of safe time to do so but it's a safe time in terms of your lap time isn't it because Realistically, the last two laps of qualifying are the ones that we see the real flyers come out. Yeah. Well, it was all drama yesterday in the heats, of course, uh, where we saw that man there, Bishop, who's uh, decided, no, I don't want to be in that pack. I, uh, I want to be somewhere else. There we go. So it gets out of the way. Um, yeah, so the, uh, the uh, first heat for uh, Mini X30, they had three false starts. <laughs> After the third one, the red flag came out. There were stops on the uh, infield straight. Nigel Edwards gave him a good telling off. A finger wag. Uh, and also, first, the front row got moved out. 
and put to the back Ooh. of the grid as well. So it was a big shame for Macaulay Bishop. But, like I said, he won his first heat, didn't he? How did he do that? He got put to the back and he came all the way through the grid to win his first heat. It was a stellar performance, I will say. Um, and at the second heat, again, he was uh, at the sharp end, stayed at the sharp end and held on to the lead as well. It's two different style of races, but could do it. Right then, first time's come in, Taylor Orridge. Fastest lap of the race so far, or fa fastest lap qualifying so far. 101.89 from Wesley Swain, the number eight. Charlie Morris Jones, the 12, has put it into oh. provisional P3. I think on the cameras there, we just saw a driver get nudged off as they were going three wide, a little bit too uh, too close. And we'll have a look and see. I might not be able to see it on the cameras, but I'll just try and keep an eye on see if we can retain that driver a little bit later. So you saw the number six go through shot. That's Jack Ho uh, Jack Hobson. He's had a he's had a, a, a medium day, I would say, has Jack Hobson. Um, as you see, the 66 there. Uh, 13th for him overall, seventh in qualifying, fourth in his first seat, but then 26th in his second. So again, it just shows a fluctuation there. But he's in the mid pack now overall in terms of points. What's a good day today to try and move up that order? Better uh, starting position for the pre-final tomorrow. So keep an eye on that one as the group. Comes towards the line, Taylor Orridge leads it, but doesn't lead the qualifying session now because it's the number 12, Charlie Morris Jones with Jade Racing Team, currently leading the way with a 101.15 from Leo Robinson and Macaulay Bishop. It was always between Leo Robinson. Oh, but look at that, the treble three. Eden Spanswick responds with his teammate Cameron Pratt Thompson, the 33, very handy there. Uh, absolutely near on identical times, a 101.13 and a 101.14. One thousandth of a second between them. Yeah, it's brilliant, isn't it? It's, um, just have a look at the Facebook, uh, sorry, the YouTube chat as well. Come on, Finn, it says Steve Wilde, and I'm guessing that's about Finn Leslie, who's going to be down in 18th position. As a warning flag goes out for Orange, number 66 currently sat on a ninth place. Uh, in fact, we get confirmation of that on our timing screen, uh, but it's Spanswick on pole position. Yeah, at the moment, yeah, Spanswick again, another fastest sector one, but keep an eye all the way down in 15th place because Harrison Crowther for Coles Racing uh, has got a fastest sector two, and there is a driver pulling off to the side of the circuit and not going any further. Yeah, that was Harfield, and that was the cart I was talking about a little bit earlier, actually. He's just going, about to go over the uh, Litchfield Bridge. Unfortunately, just got deposited on the side of the road. Ah. There we go, Rob. Unfortunately, that's the end of that one for uh, qualifying for, uh, for that driver. Um, Lewis Bird, though, responds. Fastest lap of the race, 1 minute, 0.52. Uh, puts it on provisional pole as well. Macaulay Bishop improves the time, 1 minute, 0.59. Currently, uh, P2 at the moment. Spanswick and Thomas Cucurillo Yeomans in fourth place. Checker flag goes out. These will be the last times to see fast uh, the first person to cross the line will be taylor orridge the 66 the mad Pro promotions driver currently in 11th place and that number 66 will be the first to take checkered flag as they go round the track now we see here the number 10 of lewisburg currently sitting on pole position is that set a pretty uh, fairly not quick sector one as leo robinson responds puts it on provisional pole can lewis bird respond back no he can't where did Robinson come from? Because it was a fairly standard lap all the way through, but it was a green sector all the way through. And that will be a huge smile on Leo's face because he had a tough day yesterday, I will say, but responds here in qualifying to put it on pole position with Lewis Bird in second, Macaulay Bishop in third place with Pratt Thompson in fourth, Spanswick in fifth place, Yeomans in sixth place, Crowther in seventh, Mamassi in eighth place, Morris Jones in ninth after qualifying quite high up um, earlier on in this session. You know, he's, he's dropped down tonight. How quick um, and how uh, fast these drivers are and how close they are as well. Wesley Swain rounding out the top ten. Then it's Fred Green qualified in 11th place with Orridge, Hobson, Brown, Leslie, Mowat, Truman, Lloyd, Behrman, Turnbull rounding out the top 20. Rudman, Phelps, Redding, Cunningham, uh, Parejo and Grant rounding out the 26. Tommy Harfield uh, pulling over to the side of the track oh, or in the pit lane yet. So uh, qualifying 27th place. Uh, close qualifying from the Mini Excesses, wasn't it? Absolutely was. Yeah, top 21 separated by a second. So, uh, yeah, I mean, the only one group as well, which means we don't have to do too much guessing about where they're going to end up. Is, is What you see is what you get. Hey. And